everyone welcome back to my channel so several of you have contacted me recently and asked for grocery hauls so today I was grocery day so I thought I would go ahead and do a grocery haul for you um, leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know how often you guys would like to see grocery hauls I tend to go every week um, and buy what we need for the week and a few things for stocking um, for in my extended pantry so um, I'm not going to do one every week, but let me know how often you want to see them. Do you want to see them monthly? Do you want to see them every few months, once a year, whatever? Just give me some feedback and let me know how often you would like to see them. Let's start with um, the good stuff, the fruits and veggies. Um, I bought some artisan romaine. They're like baby heads of romaine. Um, bought these for, we're going to do a nice steak dinner this weekend, and I'm going to be making a wedge salad. And instead of using iceberg, I like to use the baby romaine heads of lettuce. You just cut the ends off and cut it in half, and you have a romaine wedge pretty much. And romaine's a little healthier for you than iceberg. And they were on sale today, so that was good for me. Um, we are doing taco night also this weekend, so I got some two two nice tomatoes. Can't wait for garden season to start again if the snow ever goes away and we get into some nice weather here. Tomatoes from the grocery store aren't that great, but what can you do in the middle of winter? Um, two nice peppers, red peppers. I use these to cook with and in salad. Uh, the green pepper, usually I do use it for cooking, but this week it's just for eating raw. Greenhouse English cucumbers were on sale this week at my Meyer, so I have one of those for snacking on. If you like those, I like to put them in salad. It's a great anti-inflammatory food. They're also delicious in water. Um, nice head of cauliflower is on sale this week at my Meyer. I am going to be doing a chicken curry dish and it calls for cauliflower, so that's something new I'm going to try. So that's for snacking and for that dish. And then I got some green onions. Those are for taco night. And also some fresh cilantro, which will also be for taco night and also for my chicken curry that I'm gonna be working on this week. And then for fruits, some limes for taco night, also great in water. Same with the lemons, I love to put these in my water so good for you and adds flavor kind of helps to change up your water a little bit if you get tired of drinking water lemon is a good thing to add some fresh strawberries they were on sale this week it's valentine's week so um, they had a lot of beautiful strawberries to choose from berries are just really healthy for you lots of anti antioxidants in there so we're going to have those this week um, mangoes mangoes are so good um, i love having a tropical fruit in the winter time kind of helps get rid of the winter blahs they were also on sale this week so i got two of those and then um, it's citrus season so um, the navel oranges the extra large navel oranges were on sale so i grabbed a couple of those great for eating fresh also great for putting in your water and then of course some delicious bananas are great for a sugar fix, great for breakfast, slice them up, put them in my oatmeal sometimes, and great for a snack. So let's move on to some uh, the cold stuff. Um, I was running low on my frozen veggies and these are ones I always keep on hand. I've got green peas, some sweet corn, peas and carrots, and then lima beans. Um, I'm not really planning on using those this week, but they were on sale and so I'll be using those for stocking up. And then for my guilty pleasure, I know none of this is good for you, but um, I only have about a cup of coffee a day, sometimes two, and I love flavored coffee creamers. So this week I bought the Snickers. This is new. I haven't tried this yet. Um, but also the coconut cream, they were on sale, two for five bucks, so I got two. The coconut cream is a favorite. My husband and I both love the coconut cream. And again, it's a delicious flavor to have on hand in the winter time to chase away the winter blues. So I love that. And then we have some sour cream, sour cream for lots of things. Uh, use it to make homemade ranch dressing, homemade ranch dip, 
um, putting on baked potatoes, that kind of thing. So always have that on hand. And my husband loves blue cheese. I'm not a fan of blue cheese, but he loves the Marzetti's blue cheese dressing. So I got him some of that. He was out. So for the meat for this week, um, bacon. Um, this is uncured bacon. It's the Hormel Natural Choice. This is really delicious, and I would be in trouble if I didn't buy bacon weekly. <laughs> so, um, and this was on sale. Bacon is really expensive, especially if you get a good quality one. Um, the uncured ones are better for you than the ones with all the nitrates and the preservatives in them. So I do like this brand, but it can be kind of pricey unless it's on sale. So it was on sale this week, so I got some of that. And then we're going to be doing a nice steak dinner this weekend. Um, you guys know I love to cook and I'm all about dinner in. And it's a lot cheaper to have a nice steak dinner home than at out. Plus, oftentimes it's better. Um, T-bone steaks were on sale this week. So I got us two really nice T-bone steaks for Saturday night. We'll have those with baked potatoes and our wedge salad. And then um, I got some ground sirloin. This is for our tacos. I hardly ever use ground chuck. Um, I do use it when I make burgers because I think that it, or at least mix it with ground round or sirloin because chuck has more fat in it, so it adds more flavor for burgers. But if I'm making tacos or cheeseburger macaroni or anything like that, I try to cut out some of the fat and use ground sirloin. So that is for taco night. And then Sunday we're going to be doing pork chops. Meyer had their thick cut pork chops on sale, so I got two of those. I'll be marinating those, putting those on the grill, and we will enjoy those with baked sweet potatoes and probably another salad. And then last but not least in the meat department, um, chicken breasts. The family pack was on sale at Meyer this week. Anytime they have the family pack on sale, I try to purchase it and then I just um, divide them out in two chicken breasts in um, the quart size freezer bags. And so I'll have extra on hand. Um, of course, I'll be using this this week to make my chicken curry dish and then I will put the rest in the freezer. So that's it for the meat. And then got some taco shells for taco night. My husband loves crunchy tacos and I love the or, um, old El Paso stand and stuff taco shells. These are great because they stand up for you. They're a little bit easier to fill so I always buy the stand and stuff ones. Those were on sale this week. And then croutons. We love croutons on salads. Something a little crunchy is always nice to have in your salad. And then let's see. So the rest of the stuff was really just stocking up stuff. I was out of mayo. I used this to make my homemade ranch dressing, sandwiches, salads, creamy salads, all that kind of thing. So we were out of that, so I got one of those. I was out of molasses, so I stocked up on that. If you watched my bread video um, a few days ago, um, I didn't have any for my bread, so I used honey instead, but molasses is great to use if you're making homemade breads. And then um, I was running really low on all of my Asian condiments that I keep on hand for making different Asian dishes. Also, I like to make a peanut, a Thai peanut dressing that my family absolutely loves. Um, and it requires the sweet, chili sauce. So this is great to have on hand for, like I said, making that Thai peanut dressing. It's also great for dipping egg rolls or chicken or anything like that. It's just a really nice condiment to have on hand. It's sweet. It's got a little bit of heat to it. It's really nice. And then my low sodium soy sauce. We're running low on that. I use that for my Thai peanut dressing and all kinds of rice dishes and anything Asian or Oriental, um, use that for. Also use it for my teriyaki marinade. I have a video on that if you like teriyaki. Some rice vinegar, I was out of rice vinegar and that's what I use to make my Asian marinades, my Asian dressing, and that sort of thing. Um, I mentioned I was going to be making a chicken curry dish this week, so I picked up some 
Spice Islands Organic Curry Powder. So I'm excited to try that. I've not tried this one before. So I'm gonna give it a try and see how that turns out. Then I bought some unsweetened coconut cream and this is for a baking project that I'm working on. Um, my husband wanted a chocolate cake this weekend with um, coconut icing and I found a recipe for a coconut filling and it calls for coconut cream. So I'm going to be using it for my chocolate cake. And then um, some organic pure maple syrup. Keep that on hand. I love it in my oatmeal. I eat oatmeal almost every day and then on the weekends often we have homemade waffles or pancakes, things like that. So maple syrup is great to have on hand. And then I got some Ghirardelli semi-sweet baking bars. These are gonna be for my chocolate cake that I'm gonna be making, as well as powdered sugar. That will be for my little baking project I have going on this week. And then some eggs. I love Eggland's Best Eggs. Um, they, they are a great source of vitamins D, E, B2, B12, B5, and it also has extra omega-3s, which we don't get enough of. So always have those on hand. We eat eggs for breakfast. I make deviled eggs, have um, hard-boiled eggs to put in salads, frittatas on the weekend, all that kind of thing. So that is a staple that I keep on hand. And then for the babies, I bought these classic peanut butter oven baked dog biscuits, the teeny dog biscuits. These have pretty good ingredients and they are made in Canada so I think that they can pretty much be trusted. Um, also the Milo's Kitchen, the, my babies love the chicken and apple sausage slices. Love, love, love these. Um, and they are made in the USA. So that's important and the babies love them. And then just some household stuff. My Arm & Hammer um, laundry detergent, I love this. It's very um, priced really well, I guess is the way I wanna say it. I think it works as well as Tide, but it's priced better than Tide and it smells really great, I love that. And then Listerine we use, and then our vitamins. My husband loves the Centrum Silver. He's over, we're both over 50. <laughs> So he gets the men over 50 and then I found on a blog that I was reading a lady recommended these Alive Once Daily Women's um, vitamins and these are really good you guys. If you're looking for a vitamin that has a lot of great nutrients in it, this goes above and beyond all your normal stuff. It has a what they call energizer with food-based blends. It has orchard fruits, garden veggie, and daily greens, power blends, enzymes, and bioflavonoids. So it has extra blends made from um, veggies and fruits to help with different things. There's different formulas. This one's for women. They have one for men and all that. Um, but this has a digestive blend. It has a flax fiber blend. It has a blend for hair, skin, and nails. Uh, cranberry fruit solids are in it, and then it has a citrus complex for just hel helping to boost your immune, your immune system. Um, lots of good stuff in here. So this is a really good vitamin. Um, the only thing, and I buy the once daily ones. They do have ones that you take three times a day. I tried those. I don't like having to keep track of taking something three times a day. The one a day works better for me. Obviously, the one you take three times a day has more milligrams of just about the same things in it. They're just a little bit higher potency, but I found this one works better for me. The only downside to these is they do not taste very good if you don't swallow quickly because of the veggies in them. They have that there's, I think there's sea kelp or something in there. Yeah, there's kelp and spirulina. If you've never tasted those, they're pretty yucky. <laughs> so if you can swallow fast and get past that, it's good. I tolerate them because I like the nutrients that are in them. So we have that. And then uh, before I get into this, just in the junk food section, um, my husband loves the chili cheese Fritos. So I keep those on hand. I buy those when they have them on sale. Mine had those on sale this week. And then I also 
purchased some pop. We have Coke and Sprite. We don't drink a lot of pop, but I like to have it on hand in case we have company stop by or the urge strike. Sometimes when we, when we have pizza, I do enjoy a Coke when I have pizza or popcorn or something like that. So that's nice to have on hand and that's in the jet food section. And that was it for my grocery haul. And then lately I've been seeing some ads for this all about curls a line this is from it's not from Meyer it's from Sally's but Sally's is right beside my Meyer in a little strip mall so I stopped by there when I went to the grocery store to check out this line for all about curls because I'm always on the hunt for something better for my hair and if any of you have curly hair you know that it can be a little bit challenging to find what works for you I find that most products that are labeled for curls are for girls who have thick coarse curly hair I have very fine curly hair I have a lot Lot of it but it's fine so it's a challenge for me to find the right products that work for me but I thought I would give this a try I read the ingredient list it has some really good ingredients in it so I bought the low lather cleanser so this is not sulfate totally sulfate free but it's a low lather formula because personally I like bubbles I have a hard time getting past that but they do have a totally sulfate free one that's no lather um, but I didn't want to go that route because, like I said, I like the bubbles. So, um, But this will be low lather, but it smells amazing. So I'm really excited to try this. It's got, like I said, some really good ingredients in it. It has coconut oil. It has glycerin in it, which is really good for holding moisture in your hair. It has shea butter, sweet almond, fruit extract, and a bunch of other things that are really good for your hair and skin for that matter um, but I'm going to give this a try I also purchased the conditioner and this is supposed to be great for detangling as well which is an issue for me since my hair is fine it does tangle easily and I tease it which doesn't help anything but I like volume so I have I can't not do that um, so I'm going to try this this has a lot of good ingredients in it as well it has the coconut oil the shea butter again the sweet almond oil a few other extracts um, and yeah, so I'm excited to give this a try. Uh, my hair's been pretty dry, but it's winter, so what's not dry, right? <laughs> and then they had this, what they call bouncy cream. And so it's a curl, a curl cream. Um, I've tried different things, I'm not a fan of gel. I do like creams, but I also need some volume. So I try to go for a curling mousse if they have them. They don't have a mousse in this line. They do have a foam. So, but I thought I would try the cream first since my hair seems to be dry, drier right now. And mousse, because it adds volume, is going to dry out your hair a little bit. So uh, I'm going to give this a try. And again, it has some really good ingredients in it. Jasmine, shea butter, um, soy protein, different fruit extracts, argan oil, which is really good for your hair, gardenia extract. So some good things in here too. So it smells nice and I've heard some really good things about it. It gets really good reviews. So I'm gonna give that a try. So for you curly girls who watch my channel, um, I'm gonna give that a try and I will let you know how that works for at least fine curly hair and give you some feedback on that. And again, that was from Sally's, not from Meyer. So anyway, that's my grocery haul for this week. Um, I appreciate you guys joining me and I, I love I love it when you guys tell me what the things that you want to see. So like I said, leave me a comment. Let me know how often you want to see what I purchased at the grocery store. I'm happy to do these. They're not hard to do and people seem to enjoy them. So just let me know. So thanks for joining me guys. Have a great day and I will see you next time.